Well, I usually say, once again, we're out there making it a great day. I'm making it a great night. I'm at another holiday event, and this time I am at the Florida Botanical Gardens right here in Largo, uh, pretty close to home. I've been here before. It is a free park, free parking, free admission. Um, tonight is light up, the, light up the gardens for their holiday lights. And as you can see from behind me, there's some already lit up on the entrance as you come in. And it's a huge park, and it's open all year, and it's absolutely free to the public to come in and enjoy the botanical gardens and uh, bring your lunch, your dinner, or whatever. Uh, it's a huge, huge park, and it's maintained by the Pinellas County Park System. And um, they do like donations. That does help. But uh, I'm excited about this. I want to go see all these lights here at the Florida Botanical Gardens, and that's coming at you right now. I am just at the entrance to the main entrance to the Florida Botanical Gardens. There's lots of people coming in here to check this holiday lights out tonight. Uh, it's going to be cool. I am walking the entrance trail, the uh, bridge over into the Botanical Gardens. Lots of people coming in. I love the trees with the icicles. Even though it is a free park, they do have a Suggested minimum $5 donation uh, does help the park. And the sun is beginning to set here at Florida Botanical Gardens. And they have the snowflakes up here on the bridge. And it's all decked out in snowflakes. And as you can see, the beautiful palms back there all lit up too. This is neat. This is absolutely beautiful here. Just the entrance to this place. I haven't even got over into the gardens yet, but this is going to be fun some fabulous lights. Now we are approaching the fun of thousands, millions of lights here at this event. The tall palms here that are decked out in the holiday lights are very beautiful. I just love it. Absolutely love it. And there's a pretty good sized crowd out here for the first night of this. Right over here they have a holiday lights bistro. Uh, St. Pete Concessions, they got the concessions going on here. Probably hot chocolate and stuff. Kettle corn, all the good stuff. These palms here in the palm garden is just absolutely beautiful. And it's just so much to take in and see. So many people here too. They're enjoying the first night of this, and I am too. This is just crazy. I, uh, I do like this. This is awesome uh, to see all this lit up here at the Florida Botanical Gardens. They even have some light up flamingos here. That one's not pink, but I think there's one over here on the other side that's pink. The uh, area with the grapevines is all draped out with different colors. Almost looks like grapes, green grapes there, red grapes. Here's a really neat bird and a flower. That's a pretty cool sculpture. I like it. They even have alligators out here light up alligators several of them is that a woodpecker not sure he's pecking away on that pole though it's a holiday woodpecker there's even a face carved into a tree out here i've not seen that one before i've been to this gardens before but i've not seen this tree trunk kind of creepy well here in florida santa doesn't have reindeers he has dolphins leading his sleigh here at the Florida Botanical Gardens. And here we have some more light up pink flamingos and nothing says Christmas in Florida like some light up pink flamingos for the holidays. Here's some snowmen in Florida. Not real snowmen, but some light ups. Well, I have walked around one little side of this. I haven't went to the wedding pavilion. It looks like they have a Pilates class out here or something going on. That's what it looks like. Maybe it's silver sneakers or something like that. But they're doing this right here during this holiday event. It does seem that right here in this wedding pavilion area seems to be where all the lights are really bright and lit up in a big, another tree. Just 
absolutely stunning. There's so many people here. It's amazing. Right out here in the center of the wedding pavilion is a big Christmas tree with three different trains going around. One right around the tree, one right outside of the tree, and another one on the very outer rim of the tree. Pretty cool. Here comes the other one, the outer rim train, all lit up. They have left nothing untouched here. Everything's lit up, even the sculptures of the musical instruments that I've showed before when I was here once, once before. All the sculpted toperies that are in this corner are all lit up in red. And I've shown this before during the day. There's a bear over there, like a Winnie the Pooh type thing, and a big heart. Here's another angle of this wedding pavilion. And this is just absolutely beautiful. This is how a holiday lighting event should be. It's done right here. Right here is where the rose garden is, and they have some big light up roses all through the rose garden here for botanical gardens. This is just, I'm blown away by this. Well, I'm wandering around here at the Florida Botanical Gardens and I am liking this holiday event. I am really glad that I came down here to this. The bugs are a little, they're biting quite a bit. I should have brought some bug spray, but uh, it is a little toasty uh, in the 70s. So uh, I'm gonna brought a hoodie just in case, but it's not too bad. I have barely covered half of this Florida Botanical Gardens. There is so much more to look at. I'm gonna walk around some more. Pretty cool they have these flowers. Aren't those those, um, I don't know what you call those uh, type of flowers that pop up. Um, they look like corn dogs, but they're lit up. I'm across the pond. I haven't even went over in that area over there. This is pretty big. I'm not going to be able to show it all. You would have to come here and experience it for yourself to get the full effect. They have this big gigantic light up poinsettia here. People's been posing in front of a pot of poinsettias. Well, I think this one has to be my favorite out of all these lights are these flying butterflies here. Looks like we have an elf on a palm tree here. Not elf on a shelf, but on a palm tree. I do like the big flowers. Those are pretty cool. There's even some light up swans. And down over in Orlando, there's real swans. And uh, they tend to want to steal the real swans because you can get a lot of money for swans. I have come across even more butterflies, beautiful butterflies of all different colors. No, I'm not at Dollywood, but it kind of feels like it, doesn't it, with all these butterflies? This right here must be the line to meet the big guy in red back there here. And there's a big long line. Lots of big light up animals in this park. Here is a big gigantic tortoise, a big turtle. And uh, all he is missing is a Santa hat on top. I wonder they didn't think of that. As you can see, there's an owl here. And here at the Florida Botanical Gardens for their holiday light up, they really don't give a hoot what they put up. All kinds of animals.
I think I'm going to head on out. This has been fun. Uh, check out the link in the description uh, for Florida Botanical Gardens Holiday Light Up. You won't regret coming here. This is pretty cool. Uh, first time I've been to the light up. I've been here to the gardens before. We've shown you that before in the past. Uh, I'm tired. I'm got, kind of getting bitten by bugs. Uh, so I'm going to head to the car and uh, we'll keep going out there trying to cover some more holiday events hopefully in Orlando and uh, over here in Clearwater and uh, appreciate all you subscribers out there. Keep hitting the subscribe button. Really do appreciate that. Uh, these videos are fun to do. Take a little time, but I'm enjoying myself. I wanted to come and see this. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, keep going out there and making it a great day because you deserve it.